Hello everybody, today I am going to take up and show you the new project management module in latest Odoo 17 version. The Largely the module remains same from the previous version but the new attractive UI and UX along with new capabilities of search and views and the filters and groups makes it an attractive option to adopt. As with the previous applications, you start with defining your projects, stages, task stages, tags, activity types and activity plans. Let's look at the project application. The project application remains similar along with defining the different task names, choosing the customer, company. The settings have multiple options including association with sales order item, capabilities to define the task and the sales time management and document related features specific to project now. So effectively meaning that you can define that in a within a particular project, do you want to have task dependencies, do you want to have milestones and so on. So now you can go with project related dependencies compared to uh, overall system accordingly. Along with this on the right hand side you have all the invoicing table which is available directly associated with project which was not previously available. On the top uh, instead of smart buttons on the right hand side view on the top we have different views to associate with these projects like task, collaborators, people who are working on this, sales order and other project status that you would like to capture which primarily includes your time sheets, your burn down chart, your milestones. Going back let's look at the task. Once your projects are defined you would be happy to go ahead and define your different task. These tasks would be created either by sending email to a specific alias or of course you can create your own task. These tasks can also be created from sales order in case the modules are integrated or you have similar scenarios. So defining project and milestones is a part of the deal. Within the milestones you will be able to set your deadlines and association whether you have reached on it along with the sales order item. The assignees will allow you to choose multiple users. A specific time allocation to a particular task will give you the advantage of association during the planning stage. Effectively meaning that you will be able to draw a proper Gantt. Essentially the deadline will allow us to define the deadline as well as a start date. The start date and end date effectively gives you the option to choose a proper Gantt chart. The timesheet module entries remain the same where users will be able to enter their timesheets and hours spent. Subtask capabilities allows you to choose all the subtasks associated with these tasks. Blocking will restrict the users to do a predecessor or a successor. And then additional information adds the layers for analytic account, sequencing and the other important dates. All the document associations which is integrated with the document management are linked through the document button on the top along with the capabilities of the chatter where you can add any kinds of document. So you can add attached document from here. and then the document capabilities remain the same. <laughs> Within the task you will be able to have a start timer which effectively will start the timer of activity and as soon as you stop you will be decided or suggested to put a timesheet activity. 
this timesheet would be updated here and effectively based on the stages you will be able to mark it. We also have the stages here status which primarily focuses on the active actions and air. so not only you have stages but you also have tags associated with these stages. If you look at these stages once again. For these stages, you are able to define which projects will have these stages and along with this, you can have SMS and email templates. So effectively meaning that certain email and SMS templates can now be generated automatically through the system. The task also provides us the capability of Gantt charts. So effectively now Gantt charts has a very improved look. So effectively now your relations with the different tasks are clearly visible here and you are able to see the relations and the dependencies predecessor and successor very very easily in the Gantt chart. This makes it a very attractive option. We do have the pivot view which again has the capability with advanced search and views in terms of dates. And you can also insert this data over a period of time in spreadsheets. We have activity view. The activity view allows the activities within the particular project task to be seen in one single view where you can see this by particular task. We have location view for task. We have Kanban view based on stages. We have list view which again has many actions and information previously not available like the progress report, next activity, the different tags and of course the capability to customize your list view. Along with this, we do have a new dashboard system now, which was generally being customized. So you can have a project dashboard now, which essentially gives you a snapshot of your project management application, including task by stages, state, top assignees, top projects and customers. The timesheet view also provides you billable related hours in case your timesheets are billed to your client. And again you have the snapshot. On the top you have the filter to look for the data for a specific project, task, department, employee or in fact a particular date related period which can also be selected in the choice that you make. Sharing capabilities of the system are generated based on which you will be able to create a link of this particular view and you can share this with the external parties. That's all guys for this session. We'll bring you more sessions in the coming days. Thank you. Like, share and subscribe our YouTube channel videos and you will be getting a lot and yes don't forget to comment upon these videos because if you comment on these videos this will really going to give us the motivation to upload more and more videos thank you thank you so much stay tuned